stakeholders have been faulting the state and have been underreporting their levels of sales. And they, I mean, there have been this smuggling of products and illicit products and counterfeited products. So this measure that we are taking is basically to assure the good health of our people and for the state to also raise the revenue to, for the government to pursue its agenda. So it is a double edge. One, to raise additional revenue, and two, to curb the infiltration of smuggled, illicit, and counterfeited products uh, dominating the market. And so in August, on August 31st, the Honorable Deputy Minister already launched the whole process on this excise tax stamp. Minister of Finance himself launched the pro program, 31st of August. And we gave timelines for implementation. And today is the first day of, we are going to enforce point of sale um, aspect of the SI tax stamp. And we've called you here to be part of the process going up there to see how far people are implementing the thing. We have not deferred any process. Today is the effective day for point of sale uh, implementation. And so we are going to go up there and do that. And so we want to thank you for coming to uh, be with us to help us build the country and make the country a better place, where there's greater accountability, where the goods being sold on the market are probably accounted for, and then they are of the quality and of the sense that it matters. Before products are legitimized, it should have gone to the Ghana Standards Authority, and even if they are imported, the Food and Drug Authority has to come in, the Standards Authority has to come in, the environmental protection agency, they all have to come. It's to ensure the goods that our people consume are of good nature. It's very disheartening to be hearing of the development of these uh, kidney problems which have become uh, uh, paramount in the country, people with labor challenges. It's all because of these products and they are selling them, they have not paid any taxes, the, their products have not been uh, uh, certified and on the, so it's all to help the state remove illicit products in the market and also to ensure that any product which is being sold has had the tax on them paid and this is the basis for bringing you here we are going we are the government and then the ministry of finance and the Ghana revenue authority is resolved that excise should contribute its fair share of revenue 